Dr. Potnam, you are a professor at Harvard University, but the next two years you will always also be a visiting distinguished professor at Aarhus University. What do you hope you will get out of this new collaboration between you and Aarhus University? I'm looking forward to exchanging ideas and exchanging experiences with the scholars and students at Aarhus. My research, my own research, has been basically focused on changing uh, developments in American society, big social changes. Denmark is a quite different kind of laboratory, social laboratory, because it's of course much smaller, uh, more homogeneous in many respects. Uh, it has uh, characterized by the, the Scandinavian type of welfare state. And therefore I'm interested to see in what respects the developments in America have similar uh, counterparts here in Denmark or quite different. It's like trying old familiar experiments but in a new and exciting laboratory. So, but why Denmark? Why a Danish university? Well, frankly, partly because the Danish University asked me. Mm -hmm. uh, but the reason I accepted, as I say, is because Denmark is uh, marked as uh, a really quite unusual place. It's the happiest country in the world, as you know. It's a very high levels of what I call social capital, that is social trust, social cohesion. Um, and in that respect, it's, a sp it's, especially interesting, it's an especially interesting laboratory. And your work on social capital and social cohesion uh, is often referred to in the Danish political debate, especially your best-selling book, Falling Alone. Yes. And how would you like to impact the Danish debate during the next two years where you are a distinguished professor at Aarhus University? Well, I want to be careful because I'm not at all an expert on Denmark. I'm here mainly to learn about Denmark, not to advise people in Denmark. Um, I think it's... It is true in Denmark as in the United States that the character and the intensity and the depth and the vitality of ties among us uh, is a very important characteristic of a society. Um, indeed, the whole idea of social capital is the idea that connections among us have very powerful effects. They have effects on, the, on our physical health, they have effects on the health of our communities, they have an effect, effects on crime, economic growth, education, and so on. And so I suppose I hope to be able to convey to Danish uh, leaders the importance of social capital and then the ways in which that can be either, social capital can be either enhanced or Put, in, put at risk. And you have been in Aarhus now for a couple of days so yes. and in Copenhagen as well. What is your first impression? I suppose the uh, first impression of any, especially any progressive American, is that they seem to have come to paradise in which everything seems to work well and the streets are clean and the, and the people are friendly. And, um, and uh, it, it, the, the first impression, of course, is that there seem to be no problems at all, uh, either at the university here or or in the, in the country as a whole. Of course, I'm aware that's not true. Uh, there are also real challenges uh, here, and some of the challenges that are facing uh, our Aarhus as a city and, and uh, Denmark as a country are not unfamiliar to Americans. I'm thinking, for example, of the challenges of living with ethnic diversity, uh, managing the challenges of immigration and so on, and I'm very interested to learn more about that. You say the word paradise, but if you only have three words to describe Aarhus, what would that be? Uh, efficient, um, rainy, uh, and, uh, and lovely. So you say rainy, efficient, and lovely, and do you think that image will last during your two years in, in Aarhus? Um, I'm hoping to modify the rainy image to get a sense that also it's sunny here. Today is a lovely day, but we did experience a couple of days of rain. Um, I'm certain that it will continue to be efficient. Everything, I, all the dealings I've had with uh, my colleagues here and, and the university administration have been very encouraging. And perhaps I'll add to that uh, friendly. I'm, I'm just beginning to make friends here, and, but I'll have the opportunity over these two years to develop deeper personal friendships. We at Aarhus University, we look very much forward to having you here and we will make sure that you will not be falling alone. Thank you very much. Thank you.